Good morning and welcome to another Gummer Cast. Gummer, 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 Gummer Cast. Right, now that I've had that little moment, uh, let's see what we've got here. I'm gonna sort of go through some trades and some singles and just, yeah, whatever's there. All right, first thing, everyone's a bit of a Donny Cates fan at the moment, so I thought I'd let everyone know we've got Buzzkill in. Uh, $22.75 for the trade paperback. It collects all of Buzzkill there. Um, obviously, he's done God Country, Redneck, uh, the Paybacks. He's also done Ghost Fleet, but he's also working now on Venom and Thor. So they're the two big ones, Venom and Thor. Everyone seems to be chasing them. But if you like his style, jump onto Buzzkill. His style of writing. All right. Spawn 311, that awesome homage cover there uh, in the memory of Chadwick, which is really cool. You can see the sort of Black Panther mask. He's doing the, the Wakanda Forever pose, of course. So that's been pretty sought after. It's a cool cover. For Spawn, number 311. Uh, also, of course, three Jokers. Number three is in. So we do have stock of one, two, and three. So if you want the full collection, message us now. We can check them aside for you. And that's all set to go when you come in. All right. Uh, Clonal Weird. Cosmogog, it's a Jeff Lemire weirdo one. <laughs> so if you like his stuff, jump onto that. We've only got one copy left, so it's the last one left in store at the moment. All right, I'm really enjoying this one, Savage Avengers 13. I thought I'd share it just because I've enjoyed it heaps. The artwork is stunning. Um, there's like just great panels, like Conan smashing aliens in the face. Always fun. Seeing Conan talking to everyone else as if it's just a normal day for him. Uh, also, X of Swords, Stasis, number one. You can see all the sword, evil sword bearers on the front there. So that's all for them. That one's a little bit more expensive than the regulars. It's a 4 dollars 9 to about $9.15 Australian, that one there. All right, Black Widow, number one, a Widow Sting. We have some of these in store. If you're a fan of Black Widow, you can jump onto that one. Good place to start. I believe it's only a mini series, so it's not like you have to get an insane amount of books. And of course, Rise of the New God has been very popular. You have the Death Metal. I haven't read it yet. It's on my pile. My pile of Death Metal stuff slightly, slightly three or four issues I think I haven't read. I haven't read Goblin King and some stuff like that, so I'll get around to it. They're on my next lot of reading list. All right, then for trades, we've got Empire. All of it's in there, so the whole lot collecting Empire Zero, Avengers, Empire Zero, Fantastic Four, Empire One to Six, Empire Aftermath, Avengers, and Empire Fallout, Fantastic Four. So this was, I enjoyed this, thought it was a lot of fun. Uh, it's $72 for that one there. Uh, yeah, just, it was fun. It was very fun. And I have still have heaps of feelings that this is going to lead into some stuff to do with Noel. So if you're getting ready to jump on the Noel one, which I am, I'm going to get all of it. Just, yeah, it's going to be big. All right, from Star Wars, we've got from the Journals of Obi-Wan Kenobi here for $36. Uh, yeah, that's collecting Star Wars 2015, 7, 15, 20, 26 to 30, and material from Star Wars uh, 2015 as well, number 37. So it's all the stuff to do with Mr. Obi there. And if you're into League of Legends, Zed is in store for $28.80. Um, I don't know anything about League of Legends, so I can't really help you with that one. But Zed is there. Looks pretty cool. Looks like he's kind of like a Shredder type character there. All right, and Power Rangers, Sins of the Future. These are great. These are, I've enjoyed these a lot. Um, this was a lot of fun. I read this in singles. I think this is getting close to where after I've I've finished off my reading for Power Rangers. I'm re I've been just finished Draken New Dawn. That was fantastic. But uh, yeah, that that's good, worth a read. And yeah, $36. And now I better get something from the keyboard because I forgot to grab it before. Transition. And I am back. So, the on the keywall, the 1 in 10 X of Sword Stasis, which is pretty cool. Very cool. Oh, okay. Hay Fever got me again. Every time. All right. And we're lucky. We managed to get uh, another lot, or another lot by me. We got one extra one of Amazing Spider-Man, the Vampire Hunter variant for issue 50. We have $15 on that one, because that's first appearance technically of his Vampire Hunter suit. So it's pretty cool. We, um, yeah, weren't expecting to get the extra one, but we lucked out. And then Tales, straight, uh, 
if you come into the store and these two, those two work on the key wall, make sure you look at the white boxes at the front because there's always really cool stuff in there like Astonishing Tales number 29 featuring Guardians of the Galaxy, as you might know their first appearance. So very cool, Yondu there. So that'll be up the front in one of the white boxes. So always check those out when you come in. And on that note, that is everything. And I will see you all in the store this week. Toys are still getting uploaded and things. That's just taken me a very long time. I probably won't get it all sorted for a little while. So Nerds Paradise is sort of on delay and I'm waiting for a giant amount of stock to arrive, which fingers crossed today or tomorrow. All right. Thank you for watching. Gamma off.